During the break, Stefan Kiriazas has entered stage left into the studio. As Stefan, you've been to see a re-rendering of a famous Andrew mm. Lloyd Webber musical. Which one? Yes, Sunset Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So this actually is one of my favourite, absolute favourite scores, but it's, it's one of sort of Andrew Lloyd Webber's le slightly lesser musicals. Um, this one's been creating a lot of excitement, but also possibly controversy, because it's Nicole Scherzinger starring as the Gloria Swanson role as Norma Desmond, a faded, slightly grotesque former silent movie star. And we have Nicole Scherzinger, who is a vision of gorgeousness. Um, it should be pointed out that um, Swanson was 51, Scherzinger is 45. Hmm. So she's not a young, young woman. Um, but still, you know, 45 today is very different from And Nicole from then. Scherzinger has not been seen in a show for a while, is that right? She did Cats. Yeah. She was Grisabella in Cats. That's a while ago. Yeah. Think. So that was kind of the last major. So she's not known as a musical star, mm -hmm. but she's exploring that. Um, and she said very much this is her big chance to show her acting chops as well. Um, it's, it's a Jamie Lloyd production. So for me, that's if I can see a plastic chair on stage, I know it's a Jamie Lloyd show. Um, and it's for good and bad reasons. So we've had like an incredible Serrano he did with James McAvoy, which was staggering. Um, a very, very good seagull with Amelia Clark and all times plastic chairs on stage, virtually nothing else. Um, yes, there's it, almost no set. No, not there is no set. It's all completely paired back. You li because what? Because we're meant to... Because the acting is so good, because the story is so good, that we, we fill in the rest. Is that the idea? This, this, I mean, Jamie Lloyd always does this. So he just pairs everything back so the play itself breeds, or in this case, the musical. Um, this, it's also taken completely out of time. So there are no sets, and we used to have these grand, huge previous sets for Sunset Boulevard. So now everybody's in kind of luxe, casual wear. Everybody's in black and white. And all we have is an enormous cinema screen up the back of the stage. And that's used all the way through. So when the play starts, we get rolling credits. So like we're in a movie or something. Uh, and then we have lots of people wandering around with handheld cameras, which... Frankly, even Nicole Scherzinger doesn't look great all the time. And they come right up in people's faces, terrible angles, and it's projected on this huge screen. So you're very much, it's, it's playing with film and stage, but also with social media. So it's, she is a modern star in the sense that she's pouting to the camera, very like selfies, but there's still references to Cecil B. DeMille. So it, it, that kind of worked for me. Nicole Scherzinger got some rave reviews and mm. some quite ungenerous reviews. Mm. Where did you come down? I came slightly to the, towards the rave reviews. She's got a hell of a voice, although I think it's sometimes almost a little bit too big. Um, but within the remit of what they're doing, of a very kind of modern-ish, TikTok-y kind of ex-celebrity star, she does it phenomenally well. She does the madness pretty well. Um, but, I mean, I saw Glenn Close in 2016 and... <laughs> you'll be shocked to know, wept constantly. Um, <laughs> this one I found moving and interesting. I mean, there's a bit where it goes out on the street. We're watching them and they go on the street. He's singing uh, Joe Gillis character uh, and comes back in the theatre. So it's tremendously entertaining. She's tremendously good and tremendously entertaining. I didn't quite feel, but I really, really enjoyed and admired it. Let's, let's turn our, our mind to uh, a new movie starring Anthony Hopkins and Johnny Flynn. Uh, they're, they're both uh, playing the part of Nicholas Winton. Nicholas Winton, of course, the uh, man who organised the kinder transport, which brought so many uh, Jewish people to um, Britain uh, just before the Second World War. Uh, let's, uh, let's see a clip. Save one life, save the world. Uh, forgive me, but how many children are we speaking about? Can I ask, is there anyone in the audience tonight who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? Well, of course, most extraordinarily moving yes. theme. And, again, the timing is extraordinary. Yes. Um, what did you make of it? It's, it's, it's very, it, it knows what it's doing, so it, it's, it's going for the emotions. Um, but it's tremendously powerful. Two beautiful performances from Flynn and Hopkins, Hopkins in particular, who sometimes he plays kind of these edgier, slightly psycho characters with that kind of very cold gaze. This time it's a much warmer, it's a lovely performance. It's very, very, it, it pulls you in and it moves you. Uh, you. I mean, you can't, absolutely can't fail to be moved by that moment is the 1988 Esther Ransom, that's life moment when they ask everybody in the audience, is anybody here owe their life to this man? And the, I'm goosebumps now, the entire audience stood deeply, deeply moving. They recreate 
that scene in the film beautifully. Um, and at the European premiere on Friday, um, I think we have a clip. They actually did the same. There were family members and other people in the audience and they asked them to stand again. And I think we've got that we can take a look at. Let's have a look at that. There is anybody else in this room who owes their life to Nicholas Winton? The baby please stand. Josh, many years then after yes. that was first attempted to ask the audience to stand if they owed their lives to Nicholas Winton. Many years later, the same kind of result. Well, also because you, he saved 669 children. Phenomenal. But also they have descendants. So, you know, it's exponentially increased from there. So tremendously moving. The film is very timely. Again, migrants, refugees, all these problems, racial tensions happening, as we know at the moment in the East. Um, so it's, it's powerful and it's, it's relevant, but also... It, he points out, you know, we, we know from the story, the Netherlands had closed its borders to, to Jewish people. No other countries apart from Sweden took any of the children. The USA, everybody turned it down. The last train that was going to leave on, I think, the 1st of September 1939, 250 children lined up. Train didn't leave. Two survived the war. So it's, it's incredibly powerful. It's still incredibly relevant. Helena Bonham Carter is fabulous, as always, in the film. But it's, it's beautiful, and yes, it's a bit schmaltzy, but it's so important. It's a glorious, glorious film. Marvellous. Now, I want you to know that when you come <laughs> on here and recommend things, um, people listen to you, or well, certainly I do. Good. <laughs> so I went yesterday to see Message on a Bottle, which is a ballet based on uh, the music of Sting. And it's, it's a ballet which has forms from classical ballet mm. to break dance mm. and everything in between. It is a show of extraordinary energy. Yes. It's absolutely frenetic all the way through. It displays such athleticism, such skill, such stamina. It's immensely moving and <laughs> it's now finished. <laughs> it's gone on its world tour. But, I, but I've looked into this and it is going to be made into um, a cinema show. Mm -hmm. Interestingly, a cooperation between Sadler's Wells and the Royal Opera House. Uh, uh, yes. And they're going to produce a cinema version. So even if you can't catch the show in Sydney or Amsterdam or New York or any of the other places that it's about to go, you will, you will be able to pick it up when it arrives in the cinema. So very, thank you very much, Stefan, for that recommendation. Absolute pleasure. It was absolutely marvellous to go along there. And I very much hope that viewers will take your other recommendations. Although today your Sunset Boulevard was a bit kind of... No, no, no. Know. No, no. It's still, it's still absolutely worth seeing. It's just, I, I like to have a bit of a cry, you know that. But it, on other levels, it's, it's a massive achievement. Yeah, OK. Well, thank you very much. What are you, what are you lined up to do the coming week, do you know? Oh, I think it's got Lioness coming up with Chris and Scott Thomas. Um, so that one, I'm, that's the one I'm most excited about at the moment. Very good. Well, I hope you have a wonderful week. And you'll be back with me next I week. I will be back next Sunday. And I'll be here too.